Hello from Catalina. Yesterday, getting here was one of those days that uh, is best forgotten. Nothing went wrong. It was just really long and exhausting. So today, we're just kicking back up here. We are actually on the roof of our hotel. And this is the view that we have from here. They have a very nice deck up here where we can see all across the bay. Over there is some of the town. We'll be going over there in a little while in search of food. There is the most beautiful lady in the world. She is the second best thing that's ever happened to me. So, uh, and she's okay being second best because first is Jesus and nobody can compete with that. So, anyway, we are here. We are taking it easy today. We haven't even thought about scuba diving at this point. Uh, tomorrow we'll be going out on a boat and I will get you some footage from there. And I'll probably try to post some underwater footage too because the critters in this part of the world are just fascinating. And uh, yeah, both the ones that swim under the water and the two-legged kind that mosey along the beach. So uh, we are having a great time. This is as relaxed as I've been in a very long time. And so this is going to be good. Thank you for watching and thanks for being interested. And I will talk to you later. Yeah, our second night here, I had a bad bout of insomnia, so the boat didn't happen. We did, however, go for a shore dive a few hours after I made that video. There's a spot not far from the hotel that's designed for diving. It's a marine preserve, has concrete steps down to the water with railings and the whole bit, and there's lots of habitat for the fish and other critters. That orange guy is called a Garibaldi. If you're old enough, think the security chief on Babylon 5. If you're not old enough, come up with your own. They're pretty much everywhere and they're kind of the trademark fish on Catalina because they're just about the only one you can see from shore. As you can see, we're looking at at least half a dozen more species of fish of every shape and size and they're all right here with an easy view. This dive park is one of the best I've seen. I spotted these Gorgonian corals almost immediately. Coral is something we just don't have in Puget Sound, the water's too cold. It's always a treat to see some, but we know there will be lots more in Honduras. One thing we were really excited to see was all the kelp, huge and healthy. We were here in 2015 with the reef organization helping with a fish count, but the great granddaddy of all storms had just come through and destroyed all of the kelp. There was literally none at all, which makes for a less than healthy ecosystem. We're delighted to see it back. This was the highlight of the dive for me. This enormous sheephead was at least two feet long and decided to try and find out what I was. The way he swam right up to my camera tickled me so much you could hear me laughing afterward. <laughs> the makers of this park have sunk several boats down here to serve as more habitat and this is one of them. I think this used to be a glass bottom boat going by that big hole in what used to be the bottom, but don't hold me to it. You never know what you'll find around one of these wrecks. 
various fish, some small invertebrates. You might even come across a fat little sea cucumber sitting there waiting for somebody to poop so he can have dinner. Sorry if that grosses you out, but as Peter Shickley said, truth is just truth. You can't have opinions about truth. When we were here with Reef in 2015, we only did rough counts of the fish based on what each of us saw. One, between one and ten, more than ten, lots, up to a hundred, or plentiful, which means you don't really want me to count all those, do you? These guys would definitely count as plentiful. Also, when we were here in 2015, we learned the names of all these kinds of fish. We've since forgotten most of them, probably because it's been six years since we had a reason to remember them. On our way back, we found another male sheep head, a little smaller than the other one, and you get the feeling he was having none of it. Watch as I try to get a little closer to him, and then Kathy sort of cuts him off over there and boxes him in, and you can almost hear him saying, oh, for crying out loud, just leave me alone. Eventually, we did. Several of the fish will just come right up to you like that. I figure they're saying, and what kind of fish are you? Once they satisfy their curiosity, they move on. At least that's the prevailing idea. My theory is, when they see that you're too big to eat, and in fact you're big enough to eat them, they decide not to push it. California lobsters fascinate me because they don't have any claws, so I have to wonder how they eat. I decided to see how close this guy would let me get. That's it for now from Catalina. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll do my best to have more coming soon.